Fafari at its extreme. Hey gang and welcome back to the first video of 2019. I hope you all had a good Christmas and a new year. Mine was great, just uh, pretty chilled actually to be honest with family and friends. So I thought I'd just get out. This is the first day we've had a bit of sunshine. It's still absolutely freezing. But um, I thought bugger it. I'm going to go out and uh, have a bit of a shake out just to make sure everything's tickety-boo. It's always sod's law if you don't ride so long and then you go out on your first vlog and one of your cameras don't work or something buggers up but luckily I'm blessed with a nice heated garage where the bike just stays stays as she is stays on the battery charger and I don't really have any worries apart from just to check the tire pressures check she's got some oil in her and I can pretty much happily jump on and, uh, and bugger off yeah, so I just wanted to have a bit of a shake out today of the gear, to be honest. I picked up some uh, some new camera equipment over over Christmas. As you can see on my chest, I've now got my gimbal back on. Mainly because I retired the Hero 3 and the Hero 5 went on the helmet, but I've now got the Hero 7 on the helmet, which means I can then keep my Hero 5 in the gimbal, which means I can do more more with it on my chest. It's not something I can do when I'm out with friends. I know a lot of you have said, oh, can you not get your gimbal back on your chest as well? We like that view and I'm going to do that. But as I said, it's going to be something that I do on my own because it is definitely more of a faff. And if you do get some weather come in or it rains, then it's a nightmare to take it all off. And um, so, yeah, but that is the plan. We've got it on for today. Just a bit of a shake out. Yeah. So what else have I got new? I've basically got um, for my gimbal. I got the extension cable from GoPro, which means the battery, the big handle, the big rubber dildo that normally would uh, be digging into my stomach is now in my backpack which is uh, which is good so now you've got a slightly smaller sort of apparat on the chest so uh, yeah it's a bit more versatile it's a bit easier but it does mean then all the controls for the camera are in the backpack so you just have to set it off rolling and then just ride out but you know you get two and a half hours out of the gimbal um, yeah I've got the new gimbal uh, chesty which is the which is GoPro's new chest mount so I'm giving that a test it's basically got a bigger plate breastplate on it so it keeps the camera a bit more stable on the other one because it was heavy it sort of tend to tip forward and then you just see too much of the sat nav on the bike so interested to see how it all looks yeah so GoPro Hero 7 is on the lid yeah, here a session on the bar, so I'm pretty much good to go. I've got myself some new winter gloves, some Rooker Gore-Tex gloves, so I'm testing them out today. Got the new lid. Yeah, Father Christmas was nice to me, although I did buy most of it before uh, before he turned up. Oh, I've missed it. I've missed the sunshine. Oh, the wind is absolutely bitter, though. But I thought I'd get out just for an hour, churn a bit of oil around the motor. Although I do, you know, tend to ride the bike or get out the bike out of the garage and uh, and run her up, but it's that's depressing. I've got some more uh, content coming up for the winter months still. Now that I've bought this new Showy GTR, well, it's not the new one, but it's new to me. It's still the older model. Um, I don't want to chuck away my other one, although I've had it for five years and manufacturers do sort of give you a, a tip every five years you should replace your helmet. I'm not going to do that, but what I'm going to do is make a video on uh, on that helmet and completely strip the thing down and check it and see how it all is. I'm going to replace all the lining, the EPS, all the cheek liners, the visor. It's all getting completely, uh, completely replaced because I ain't throwing away a 600 euro helmet, you know, so I'm going to completely overhaul it. I've never dropped it. I've never been in an accident in it. Although it is a guideline five years, um, I think you can get more out of them if you look after them. So watch out for that vid. We're going to be sort of going through. Uh, it's the first time I'll have taken it apart just to see how it all is. Well, I have taken bits and bobs out of it before uh, just to see how it looks. But I'm going to completely overhaul that lid and keep it. So I've got that vid coming up. I've got another vid coming up of a custom seat that a friend of mine had done or I got done for him. 
um, for the new 1200 to the GS the new 1250 GS so uh, that seat has already arrived he hasn't picked the new bike up yet he's getting that in two three weeks time so I'm gonna be doing a video on his seat um, and probably at the same time I'll probably do a sort of a review of the bike or a, a test ride a first impressions for some reason I love riding the GS I test rode it a lot last year and the year before it's not something I would buy but I love the thing so yeah interested to see what the 1250 is like so I'm going to be riding that so watch out for that video and all so I've got plenty to come up before the sort of season gets back up and running and after that we'll see how it goes I mean I've got a lot planned um, but I do want to get some content out before the season starts so I've got some stuff in the pipeline so don't you worry What a day to be out man, I'm going to stop and get some pictures, I've got my other DSLR with me, I'm going to take some snaps I think somewhere. Just have a bit of a day out, a bit of an afternoon out, cocking around with my cameras. Oh that was windy, my gimbal's a bit pissed. Yes, I've missed you, I've missed you baby! Yeah, so just a quick one for me today, just to say welcome to 2019. Hopefully this year is going to be as epic as last year, because last year was an absolute perler of a year. Although, I don't know if I mentioned it in other videos before, it may be that I don't do a European tour this year, because I've got some other commitments on my house that I need to still get finished, that I built three years ago that I'm still not bloody finished. I'm sure I've mentioned it a thousand times. Um, so yeah I've been there the last five years down in the Alps all over sort of uh, France, Switzerland, Austria, Italy um, but what I'm going to try and do although I'm not going to do one of those tours if possible I'm going to get up and do um, a Scotland tour and maybe just a bomb around UK I'm going to do the North uh, Coast 500 if I can and maybe then sort of uh, bashings or sort of um, some meetups maybe you come and meet some of you guys from UK that uh, obviously don't get a chance to come over to Germany and uh, and meet me here um, so that's a that's a possibility um, so watch out for that I will keep you posted of if that's gonna happen or not I'm really hoping it's gonna um, again don't ever mention my parents moved to Scotland six months ago so uh, it's a good base there to you know to stop up there go and see them and then just bomb around in Scotland I mean I think that's going to be uh, an option for many years to come do a lot of Scotland maybe do some of Ireland because I've never ridden a motorcycle in UK would you believe it and plus all the usual other stuff that I've got planned here I've already got five trips planned in Germany that I've booked already uh, weekends away day trips um, that's with the BMW dealership that I normally ride with and um, yeah plus all the other stuff I'm gonna do just on myself or with friends so uh, yeah and as I said before on an another vid I've got something with Michelin coming up and maybe with Louis Motorrad some exciting things no product reviews as such but some really cool stuff coming up hopefully hopefully that all worked out um, yeah that's about it for now I'm gonna be sort of emailing other companies and getting some other stuff hopefully um, hopefully on the cards we'll see what happens but whatever happens I'm gonna be out riding this beast I am actually gonna get down I'm sure I mentioned that before as well get down the dealership in the next few weeks and uh, chatting away here driving too slow um, I'm gonna get down the dealership and price up the new 1290 Super Duke GT although it'd be pretty mad to change it I mean I've only had this oh god seven or eight months 
but oh, I love all the new tech that's on the new one and the big nice TFD display and oh god it's ridiculous it gets terrible doesn't it I never stop and I think if I go there and the figures all work out I think I'm going to do it providing the wife doesn't uh, throw me out because um, I'll still get a decent price for this because it's so young although you know I've racked up what have I done 11,000 K's on it in uh, seven months which ain't half bad so um, yeah it'd be better to do it now than to wait another year and, and then to do it because I'm going to get a, a toilet price for this then probably so ooh, <laughs> watch out for that so that's it for today probably did end up being a longer one I was banging on there um, just to say welcome to 2019 and uh, we'll see you on the next vid and I'll catch you next time and remember don't say fuck or bugger <laughs>